Well, August is upon us, and uh, we continue here at Mount Carmel Christian Church to work our plan. Uh, if you remember, we uh, gathered in small groups in the foyer for communion and prayer in June. And then in July, we had family services where families came in together, uh, spread out apart, and worshiped together the month of July. So now we're entering into the next part of our plan regarding Sunday mornings in August. And I just want to take this time uh, to kind of walk you through. If you are all planning to come, remember, we will be online. In fact, uh, when we go into August, we have new two service times. We go 9 and then we'll be going at 11 and both of those services will be streamed online live and so if you're still uh, at a place where you're not ready to come back in you can still be with us you can still be part of what's happening at our church uh, by going online and you can look to the links and you can look to all the things that we provide to you to be able to do that just want to remind everyone before we go in uh, the state of ohio is under a mask mandate and so when you come, we ask that uh, you honor that. Uh, I got a couple options. I love this option. This is my favorite option. It's a screen that you can get and you can see my lovely mug. And so if you want to wear that kind of uh, face mask, you're welcome to do it. Um, also, because on Sundays I won't be wearing this because of my hair and I want to make sure my hair is good. So typically I wear this mask and like to do it this way, you know. So. Make sure you remember that our mandate is is that uh, a mask wearing for those people in public places are still required even for the church folks on stage the officiants don't have to do that that's from the governor all right let's go through when you come in you'll be welcomed by a friendly person uh no doubt this friendly person will have a mask on for sure and no doubt he may be smiling not sure but anyway let's go through here as always come through As we've been doing in July, we will have communion for you if you want to uh, partake in communion with us. If you want to take partake in communion with us, we'll have communion together. You can pick up the cup and uh, come on in. Now, for those of you that have prayer needs, we won't be having the prayer cards available, but we have them here. Prayer cards are available for you to uh, fill out and put into this container. I like to call it the urn, but people look at me weird because I call it the urn, but you know, that's me. Uh, also, this is a place where you can place your offerings and uh, any comments that you want to share with us to let us know what's happening. Let's go inside the sanctuary. As we've been doing in the month of July, we will be uh, closing off certain rows of the sanctuary. Um, so these are the rows that will be set up for the nine, sir, nine o'clock service. We ask that you would find a seat. Please move towards the middle if you're here early. That's part of being early, uh, so that folks can come in. We're asking families, uh, if you sit, that you at least give one or two seats uh, apart. We want to do everything we can to provide the socially, social distancing that will keep everybody safe and comfortable. Once 9 o'clock service is over, what we do is we then just pull out these little handy-dandy signs, and we close down the... Uh, rows that have been open and then off to his church we will uh, take care of everything clean everything sanitize everything for uh, for the next day for our usage later now the difference for august for us this will be an opportunity for us to come in together to worship the difference for august is that now we're going to uh, do a phased opening a slow opening with our children's ministry and i'd like for you to follow me as we uh, kind of take you if you bring your kids elementary preschool uh, and actually, even uh, junior high, junior high will be meeting at 11. But if you uh, bring your kids, we want to show you what you'll be doing. All right, parents. So when you come in, you will find our check-in system a little bit different. Instead of going back to our check-in area, you're going to actually meet a check-in attendant right here at the front door. We'll punch in your information, and then you're going to pick up your name tags right over here. That is punching your information, not punch you. Yes. <laughs> so once you're over here, we have two people who will be doing a quick um, medical assessment, just taking your kid's temperature with a touch-free thermometer like that. All right, and ask just a couple health questions to make sure everybody's safe and healthy while they're here. You'll be able to pick up your name tags here. 
and you can have a squirt of hand sanitizer here if you need it, nice. right? And it's even got a sparkly heart. I love it, it does because we love you. We don't want you to get sick, okay. right? All right, then you're going to come around here. And this will be your check-in drop-off and pickup station, all right? Okay. So you're going to come here and we will have a check-in team member that will take your children to class for you. Okay. And once they're in class, um, we've got our rooms almost ready to go with yoga mats for each child, distanced apart. Mm -hmm. Our teaching team is going to wear a mask all right, this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then every child is going to have their own uh, school supply pack. And so uh, if you use it this week, when you come back next Sunday, you'll get the same one. All right. Personalized. That's right. All right. Now, if you have a zero to two year old that wants to come to Kid City, we are allowing those parents to go ahead back to our nursery window in this hallway and drop those kids off at that location. Okay. Zero to two year old parents can drop off their kids down there, but everyone else will have to yes. drop off their kids here. Yes. Wonderful. Um, and the other. Um, situation where you could go past this stanchion is if you're a first-time guest and we want to welcome you and get your information into our check-in system and so you will come to this man station right here Beautiful. right so right after service we ask that you come here and we will check name tags and um, check out labels and then you'll be on your way and are you excited to see the little ones? Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> I right. cannot wait. Well, uh, thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Uh, I really appreciate Lisa and her team. They've really thought this out and uh, done everything they can uh, to make the experience for your kids coming to church on Sunday, mm -hmm. something in which we continue on teaching kids to love Jesus Yes. and continue to teach them about the things of the Bible. What, we, what are we going to be talking about this Sunday? We are going into a series called Brave. Brave. Online, which is really fun because it's a Disney flick too. Okay. Nice. okay. So and that, that happens to be the name of the series that we're going into. Huh. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, I just wanted to come here and uh, here's Aaron Adams. And Aaron's here to tell us a little bit about what's happening with our junior high ministry at 11 o'clock. Yes. Here's Aaron. So we're so excited to gather our middle school students again. That'd be sixth through eighth grade. So as your family comes in, your middle school student can head right up these stairs to the student center where we will get them checked in. We'll hang out together. We'll share devotion. We're also in the series Brave and we'll break into small groups. We're looking forward to having a great Sunday. Awesome. Now, one thing that's really, 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 really important that I was supposed to tell you right at the beginning, but I forgot, so I'm going to tell you now, is please make sure you register. We would like, we need to know that you're coming. Um, not trying to make anything inconvenient for anybody, but it's really important that we get an idea of who's coming so that uh, if we need to make other arrangements, if we need to make other plans um, regarding that, uh, we can do that. And so please make sure you look at the links, you look at all the communications we send regarding registration. If you're still uh, not into com you know, computers and all that stuff, I'm not sure how you'll be watching this video, but uh, if you know someone that isn't, please give us an uh, office a call at 528-0230. Uh, let us know that you're coming and we will get ready for you. Hopefully uh, you're having a great week and we're looking forward to seeing you Sunday. God bless.